Kevin, now that we've covered some of the basics of marine inverters, let's talk specifically about larger inverters that are installed permanently as part of the boat's electrical system. First, what kind of loads can you expect to run from a dedicated inverter? On board, you may want to run a coffee maker, or better yet, an espresso machine, or a food processor, or possibly a blender for smoothies or margaritas. Outside of the galley, you can run household type entertainment products like DVDs, televisions, and entertainment systems. And for maintenance, you can run power drill motors, sanders, or soldering irons. Installation of these inverters can be extremely simple. Lower powered versions come with a duplex outlet built right into the enclosure, so you can plug your AC devices directly into the inverter. You'd obviously pick a place that is dry and protected, and it's always a good idea to try to minimize the distance from the battery. It's more efficient to run a longer cord to the AC appliance than it is to run a longer DC supply wire to the inverter. Kevin, what about adding a remote inverter panel? A nice addition is to have a remote way to turn your inverter on and off, and depending on the brand, you might get some battery monitoring functions as well. So this is the deluxe remote for the Magnum uh, inverters, and this gives you full control not only over the inverter, but it gives you full control over the charger as well. So you can set it up to properly charge gel flooded and AGM batteries. Um, in addition, if you are connecting to a low amperage shore power connection, you can have this reduce the power of the charger so that when the charger kicks in, it doesn't throw the breaker on the shore power source. So, Kevin, what if you want to have a more finished installation where the inverter is more integrated into your electrical system on board? There are two configurations that accomplish this. One is to have a hardwired AC connection so that you never actually see the inverter. All you see is a duplex outlet, which can be in the boat's galley or main salon. You can certainly have more than one outlet, but on smaller boats, you may find that a single outlet is sufficient. The second degree of integration is to buy an inverter with a built-in transfer switch. A transfer switch? What's the advantage of that? Chuck, imagine that you've got a 30-foot sailboat with a shore power cord and a simple AC distribution panel on board. Your inverter, in this case, would install between the shore power inlet and the distribution panel. When shore power is available, the inverter passes the power through the distribution panel and the AC loads. But when shore power is disconnected, the inverter springs into action and starts providing power up to its maximum rating. The Xantrex XM1000 and 1800 are examples of this type of inverter. For over a decade, before pure sine wave inverters were available, Boaters were happily using modified sine wave inverters and getting good results. However, with the introduction of more and more pure sine wave products from Magnum, Xantrex, and other companies, we're seeing a shift in purchases towards those products. While there are only a few things that a modified sine wave inverter won't run like some dimmers, laser printers, and some sensitive audio equipment, they generally work well. But to eliminate the chance of incompatibility, we like the trend towards pure sine wave products. 